What's up guys, it is Crowbar, and today I am bringing you the YouTube update for Friday, the 9th of November. Um, and I've got a fun little clipboard full of stuff to get through, so um, not going to be any fancy editing in this one. I just need to get some information out to you guys because this is going to be a weird week, uh, even weirder than normal. I want you guys to be uh, up to speed on what's happening, what's going to be happening, and some possible changes for the channel. Uh, in the near future, so let's just roll right into it. First off, I just kind of want to apologize real quick um, that the channel's been weirdly quiet lately. My streaming schedule's been crazy and completely unreliable, and I get that. Um, I do appreciate that uh, we really haven't lost any subs. Uh, we're still sitting around the 420. I think when I checked a second ago, we were at like 418 or something like that. We sort of fluctuate in that area, sometimes a little over 20, sometimes a little under. We haven't really lost anybody though, and I appreciate you guys being patient with this sort of weird schedule and not uh, abandoning ship just because some things have been strange. So thank you for that. I think it is worth letting you guys know that views are indeed down on the channel in general, but I feel like that is partially because I've been playing some very strange games that just sort of strike my fancy um, that aren't exactly like new, so we haven't really been drawing any new people, and like I said, my stuff's been very sporadic, um, so even you regulars have been having trouble getting to me when I'm live. Um, I haven't been streaming for as long or on the same days. I haven't remade a unified streaming schedule, so I feel like a lot of the reduced viewership is on my side, um, and hopefully I'm working on some things that will address that in the near future. In that vein, though, uh, I'm probably going to leave it until the end of the year, but I'm contemplating switching our main streaming platform to Twitch. Uh, it's just, Twitch is just so much better optimized for streaming. I would still be multi-streaming, but basically um, Twitch would be the primary chat location. Uh, it's, it's the chat that would take precedence on the screen. Uh, it, it, it just it allows for interaction a lot better. Um, so the streams would still go to both places because again, I'm not partnered on Twitch and I want these streams to be archived. So they would still go to YouTube, the backups will still be on YouTube, any sort of vlogs that I make would go to YouTube because they don't really have a home on Twitch uh, before you have an archive of stuff that it keeps for you. Um, but this is just a, a, a thought I had. Um, if you guys are super against that, um, let me know. Um, I, I, I won't, I, I don't necessarily want to abandon YouTube, but I feel like if streaming is what we're going to be focusing on more than any other type of video, it makes more sense to prioritize Twitch. Um, but I'm interested in your feedback in that area. Like I said, this probably will not happen until after the new year. Um, you know, the holiday games are coming. I'm going to be playing some new stuff. Hopefully we'll get some new stuff for the holidays that I'll be able to play as well. And I've got a couple of series coming up that I think is going to draw some of the old crowd back as well. Um, but all that said, just know that it is a possibility that we might be shifting focus over towards Twitch after the first of the year. For the meat of this video and the main purpose of me making it, uh, I need to inform you about a thing that is happening called Desert Bus. If you watched me the previous years, uh, I did make some videos, like really quick two minute videos uh, telling people to go watch the thing. Um, but basically the long and short of it is that Desert Bus is a charity stream that usually runs for about a solid week, 24 seven uh, sort of thing, you know, 24 hours a day, as long as they can go. And it is put on by a Canadian comedy video troupe called Loading Ready Run, or LUR, L-O-R. Um, in conjunction with Child's Play Charity, which is, I think, still kind of a subsidiary of Penny Arcade. I don't actually know if that's true, so maybe don't quote me on that. Um, but they are a charity that sp specializes in getting games into hospitals um, for really anyone but children of, you know, terminal diseases or just kids who have to get left in hospitals for long periods of time. They help outfit hospitals with uh, gaming consoles and better TVs and games themselves that are appropriate for, you know, different child ages and uh, it just, it gives kids a thing to do when they're stuck in a hospital room, um, sometimes alone, you know, this sort of thing. It's just, it's a charity that I think is very, very much worth supporting. Uh, I have watched it since, I think, year five, I want to say, um, and it is something that I do every year. 
and I basically don't do anything else because it runs 24 7 I just camp on my couch and watch um, I, I love the people who put it on um, and it, it just it's sort of a holiday tradition or sort of becoming a holiday tradition because it normally happens around this time of year and it gets me into that mood a little bit it's just that like feeling of giving and compassion for your fellow man sort of thing and it just sort of spe speaks to me basically the long and short of the charity live stream is that they play one of the worst games ever created uh called the desert bus um some of you might have heard of it because it's actually gained some popularity over the years because of this charity um but it was a joke game that was on an unfinished uh pen and teller video game called smoke and mirrors that was all about fake games sort of thing um there, there were games on there that allowed one player to cheat while the other player didn't know and you know just sort of trickery sort of things but it was made um, because at the time that it was being made uh, it was one of the first instances of like violence in video games makes violent people which we all know is bullshit um, but they wanted to take that to the logical extreme of like okay well if you, if that if you say that that's true then clearly a game about driving a bus on the most desolate track of land ever from uh, Tucson to Las Vegas. Uh, it's just desert. It's almost a straight shot. A game about doing that in real time in a passengerless bus uh, with no scenery, no anything really to distract the driver and in a bus that lists a little bit to the left so that you can't just hold the button and go. You have to pay attention, otherwise you'll crash. Surely if someone played that game, they would end with the ability to drive a bus in real life. Uh, and so it was it was a sort of satirical sort of thing. Regardless of the intentions of its uh, creation, it's horrible. It's a nightmare to play. And so they inflict this game upon themselves for as long as people continue to donate money. They've gotten much bigger over the years. Uh, I think their very first year they wrote, raised like $20,000 or something like that. Um, slightly more than that. I don't remember the exact number. Um, I want to say it's like 20156 or something. Very oddly specific. Um, but yeah, they, they, they raise money for this charity. Uh, people craft items and donate items that get uh, silent auctioned and raffled and live auctioned and uh, given away in a sense where like uh, they'll do like a five dollar and fifty five cent giveaway for uh, you know fandom item X let's say a Doctor Who scarf or something like that and for people who donate five dollars and fifty five cents within that time period you get an entry into a draw uh, and if you get drawn you win. Uh, and it gets shipped to you, and it's awesome. It's just a ton of fun. They do skits and joke around, and it's just, it's a bunch of comedians trying to make their way through this horrific game for as long as people keep giving them money. It normally takes six to seven days, depending on your time zones and stuff like that, and I'm going to be watching it, um, and I'm not going to be doing basically anything else. Uh, so the channel is gonna be effectively dead as far as live content is concerned. But because I am sort of scrambling to get this stuff together, I am going to try to make for you guys anywhere, depending on how much time I've got to edit, four to six videos, counting this one, um, to sort of keep the channel going. Um, some videos that I've told you guys I was gonna make for a while that I just need to get on paper and get recorded. And thankfully most of them are just me talking to the camera so I can record them, get them edited and get them out and I can set them up previously so that they all go live on particular days. Uh, so yeah, that is that is what is going to be happening for the following week is I'm gonna be quiet. I'm probably not even gonna be in Discord very much. Um, the channel will hopefully still have some content, assuming nothing catastrophic goes wrong with my editing. Just to give you something to look forward to uh, for post Desert Bus, we do have some fresh content coming. Uh, I do want to finish Amnesia because a little bird told me that I'm probably only one more stream off from finishing it, and I've never finished the game before, so Spooptober may be over, but, uh, ooh, that rhymed, that's fun. Um, but we're gonna get one more little uh, dose of spoop in there and try to finish Amnesia the Dark Descent. Spyro Reignited is coming out in, it will actually come out during Desert Bus Week, so we're going to be playing that once Desert Bus is over. 
And because it has been requested a lot and because I have another reason for going back to it very soon, I think we are going to finally uh, dip our toes in and start up Breath of the Wild Master Mode, um, which I think will be a nice way to bring us into December and, uh, and sort of wind down the year. Because uh, we basically started this stream year with Breath of the Wild. It's what drew a lot of you guys to me um, and some very specific people in particular that I kind of want to shout out to when we start Master Mode. Um, and uh, yeah, I think it's a nice way to sort of bring us down. Um, and I think um, I'm probably going to just buy it myself so I know that I have it. I don't have to rely on a Christmas gift or anything like that. December is going to have Undertale. Um, we're going to work it out so that I've got mods in chat so that no crazy, angry fans show up and, and make it not fun for people. We're going to try to do Undertale in December. Um, so hopefully... You guys will all be looking forward to that. If you're interested and have the kind of uh, spare money this time of year, which I know a lot of people don't because it is the holiday season, uh, you should absolutely take a look at Desert Bus. I will be in the chat some. A lot of people are in the chat all the time. Um, but you might see me. My username is the exact same as it is on the channel. I am Crowbar is Ready in Twitch. Uh, and thus I will be Crowbar is Ready in, in the Desert Bus chat. Um... It's a great time. I adore it, and hopefully you will too. As of you guys watching this, I will see you tomorrow with a pre-recorded something. Uh, I've got a whole list on a whiteboard. And I'm just going to tick them off as I record them. So I hope you enjoy the content I've got ready for you this week, uh, and I will see you when Desert Bus is over. Um, so until that time, uh, do good, be kind, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.